y'all and welcome back to my channel for another DIY mommy project. This is the most exciting one next to the bookshelf conversion into closets. I'm finally getting around to putting my baby's crib together. Yay, the crowd goes well. Okay, so we've had this crib sitting in the nursery for almost two months. My mother-in-law ordered it many moons ago, but I was too sick earlier on in my pregnancy to put it together. And my fiance works many, many hours, six days a week. And he's always usually tired or worn out by the time he makes it home. So we just put it off as long as possible. But now that I'm healthy and... um of able body to do so i am going to be putting my son's crib together this is the da vinci crib from target the metal yeah metal uh collection in slate which is a really dark gray um i actually picked it out before i do the gender of the baby i knew i didn't want to go with a classic white crib or anything too funky or out there um so i went with the gray it was $349.99 from Target.com. So if you're looking for a crib, I suggest this one. It is a convertible four-in-one crib. So that means it goes from a infant crib to a toddler bed to a day bed to a full-size regular bed. So I am very frugal and I didn't want to have to purchase another bed for a while. So this one will be useful for many, many years, much like most of the other products I got that are like the six in one high chair and the um, two in one stroller. Although I will have to update the um, car seat because the one that comes with that set is for an infant. So, but anyway, back to this DIY mommy project. Um, I got the okay from my doctor to go ahead and assemble this crib, but as usual, he said no heavy lifting. So I have my um, baby brother on standby to help me move it if need be. And if you're a DIY mommy, like I say in um, many of my other videos in this series, please allow yourself time and room for error because putting a crib together can be very frustrating if you allow it to be. I took the instructions out of the box two or three days before I even got started just so I could familiarize myself with the materials. And if you look back at the very beginning of this video, I actually lined up the materials to their, matched them and lined them up to their figure in the instructions so I could easily identify them when on another page. So you just wanna take your time, prepare properly, and allow yourself room for error because if you're a first time mom like me, we never get it right the first time around. <laughs> so, this was a really exciting project. I was so excited. There were like two points of frustration during this process, but it, in totality, it only took me maybe an hour to an hour and a half to put it together just because I had to stop and eat. And as you can see, my little fur baby was back and forth and in and out and in the way. And these little lock things that I'm inserting right now were very difficult to work with because they have to be in a specific position in order for the screws to um, screw in them correctly. So you want to take your time, make sure everything is level. And as far as tools, they provide you with an alley wrench. And um, outside of that, all you'll need is maybe a Phillips head screwdriver. Again with these long nails, girl, I <laughs> did not know when I started these projects they would be an issue, but hey, I worked through it and um, I now have shorter nails. <laughs> Although most of the building projects are complete, um, I just figure with baby coming along, soon because I believe in this video I'm about seven and a half months six seven to seven and a half months pregnant so with baby coming along soon I just wanted to get used to having shorter nails because of health reasons and I don't want to scratch my little baby although I did the almond shape and my tip wasn't sharp I have small um shorter square nails now 
So here is the point of frustration. I've already put the um, back legs on the headboard portion and now I'm trying to add the side rails. But like I said, those little locking mechanisms that allow for the screw to attach to the rails, if it's not in the proper position, you will not be able to screw the screw in and secure it. So I called for my brother's assistant. Why we thought we could use a power tool, I don't know. Maybe because he doesn't have kids and this is my first one and no one told us. But eventually we got it figured out after a little banging and poking and prodding. But just pay attention to the smaller details and you'll get it. Take your time. It's not a rush. Baby's safety is priority number one. So we just rather get it done right and to get it done in a timely fashion. letting him give it a try he doesn't look like it's working out for us y'all but we get it i promise you we do and the other side goes on a little bit easier because we know where we went wrong with the first side <laughs> sorry about our boobies being in y'all face y'all kind of forget that the camera's there sometimes because <laughs> you're so immersed in the project this was hands down my top pick for a crib. It was so beautiful online and as you can tell from the thumbnail, it's multi purpose will come in handy for many years. So it was a no brainer to choose this one. If it's not available at Target, I know it's available on Wayfair.com as well. So it looks like the alley wrench is finally tightening that screw properly. So it looks like I got it, y'all. And I didn't blow a gasket or throw a tantrum. I'm growing. I'm so proud of myself. Because usually I would get so frustrated and want to give up. <laughs> I think I said, finally. Finally, so yeah, now you just want to do that to the other side. Um, I did that off camera. So here we are going to attach the front rail. I don't even know if I'm calling these things the correct name, but we're going <laughs> to attach the front rail so that the um, I guess frame of the bed will be completed. And for whatever reason, it's easier to do this from the inside. We can access. You can see better and you can access the points where you need to screw in screws and add, add washers easy so I didn't think it through that once I got everything attached and tightened I would be stuck inside <laughs> I also didn't think about lifting the um, entire crib over my head instead of doing what I decide to do in this video and before you even see what I decided to do if you're an expecting mom putting a crib together, do not, I repeat, do not do what I am about to do to get out of the crib. Just lift it up, call your, um, your backup for heavy lifting, have them come lift the crib up over your head, okay? So but now you can see what I was saying about being able to see what you're doing from the inside a lot better because if I was on the outside of this thing it would be a lot more difficult to get that um, screw and washer in there so you want to secure both nails and washers on off on both ends so it'll be four in total and you have to make sure that that rail is a level because if not, it's not really screwing in tight.
So before I go back to the other side and tighten it, I'm going to go ahead, since I have this side level, I'm going to go ahead and tighten these washers. Here we are. <laughs> now that I have everything done, I need to figure out how I'm getting out of this crib. And I decided it would be easy to climb out at seven <laughs> to seven and a half months pregnant. This is the wrong way to get out of this crib. But thank the lucky stars that I did it safely. I didn't bump my belly or fall, so yay. Our frame is finished and now we have to attach the support for the mattress. And this proves to be easy enough to do from the outside because there's no impossible way that I could do this from the inside. Again, the trick is to make sure this thing is level and you um want to count the holes on each corner to make sure that you're attaching it at the same level at each point. And for me to get it stable, it was easy to go diagonally. Attach two ends diagonally and then tighten them accordingly. And here's where those long nails prove to be a little bit of a challenge because you have to kind of maneuver, like squeeze your hand through these tight spaces. And I didn't give up. I did not give up. And all my DIY mommy friends kind of got defeated <laughs> at this part of putting things together for their nurseries. They said, don't. Don't try to put the crib together yourself. But I did. And as you can see there, I was counting the holes to make sure I was at the very top. I know our hormones can be raging at this point in pregnancy, but if you just take your time, allow yourself room for error, you won't get frustrated and give up. Another concern I had was what in regards to whether these bolts were tight and tight enough. So if you feel like your strength may not have been adequate, you can have a guy, husband, brother, someone of a male gender to come and secure those a bit more if you like. So now that I have those two corners stabilized, it proves to be a lot easier to get the last two. And voila, just have to tighten them to the best of my ability. Not too tight because again, these this material is probably man-made wood. So you don't want to strip it or do any unnecessary damage. Last one. Sorry the camera's so shaky, but I want to give you guys close-ups, as many close-ups as possible. All four have been tightened and have been checked to make sure they were all level. Oh, one more. Voila, the frame is complete. Now all we have to do is add our mattress. This is the Omni, Omni Plush by Sealy. It's all foam, no springs. I hate springs, inner springs and mattresses. The um, material is hypoallergenic, if I said that word correctly, and we actually found that at Burlington's. That's a wrap for this tutorial, you guys. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out another video in this series.